Hey guys, today I'm going to show you uh, something a lot of people have wrong with their laptop or computer or anything they use. They want to get this kind of firmware right here, but it just never gets like this when they download it. It'll come into a folder like this. Um, I found out about this just by messing around my my folders and stuff all you have to do is wait wait don't look at this uh this is nothing to do with y'all i'm gonna just put it how it was when you first download it when you first download it it comes like this it comes like this like a a raw file and if you want to dedo like undo it to make it a ipsw it never works it's, anything you try it just never works on there so what you gotta do is go to my computer on Vista um, I think the it's my no I think it's just computer somewhere on this side just click computer or my computer whichever one it is and press alt a l t on the right side of your keyboard and click it and you'll see this pops up these right here pop up all you gotta do is just click tools, folder options, view, and usually this will be checked. Hide extensions for known file types. Just uncheck it and press apply. You have to press apply or it won't work. And then press OK. You can exit out of computer. And now go to your little RAR file. Uh didn't try doing that now highlight it like this click on the words and now just delete the RAR the RAR thingy and press put IPSW and then press enter this will pop up just press yes and there you go it changes to this and now you can jailbreak And uh, wait for it to say that it's good. Um, well, yeah, if you have your iPod plugged in or iPhone or iPad, whatever you use, if you have it plugged in, it'll say that it, it works. See, IPSW successfully, successfully identified. Well, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you have fun jailbreaking your iPod, iPad, or iPhone. And, yeah. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And check out my other videos, please. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.